Thank you very much, Joe. And welcome, Expeke, after sparing that win with the team. A very amazing play from you guys. Well, the Nidalee pick really worked out for you guys. Tell us what kind of plan was going into picks and bans. Um, the main plan was to not do what we did last day, no? Like, there are a lot of picks that are OP. There are a lot of picks that are good. If you don't get one of the OP picks, you can at least get something that is equally as strong in its way. And yesterday, we did completely the opposite. We took picks that were fine, but they took everything that was OP or really good. And today, when we went into the pick and buy, uh, uh, into picks, I, every one of us decided, OK, let's at least try, not to, try to focus on getting something strong. If they get something strong, we cannot just take something that might work. But if we are not ahead, their pick is stronger, like Jax, for example. So we were like, OK, let's do that. And we started just doing the picks, pick and face one by one realizing what was open. They only can pick one strong pick, so we leave more than one open. They pick one, we pick two, and then we have an advantage. Then they pick two more, and we pick two more, and pretty much what we wanted, wanted is a setup that cannot get outskill. In case we are, if we are ahead with Novo, if we are equal, we have chances, and if we are behind, we can come back. So that's what we look for today. Yeah, pretty good comp. What about the Nuna pick here? Did you guys expect all the junglers to be banned away, or? I had no idea he would even say that he wanted to pick Nuno. He hates it. Uh, and every time we play Nunu, he's kind of, God damn it. But all of them were banned. <laughs> and I think he, he felt like he could play because we, we practiced it a bit. And even though he didn't like it or did that well, he knew what he had to do. And he's been like, OK, yeah, just pick Nunu. Our setup is really strong right now. If instead of going for a more defensive setup, we go kind of for Naidali Nunu. They have no way of going on us, especially with the engage they have. They have to catch me to engage, and I have cleanse. So, it's impossible for them to ever win a fight because if they focus Nunu, he's just gonna, it's gonna be their loss. They are gonna lose before they kill Nunu, and it was it worked pretty well. I was surprised that he wanted to play Nunu. And he did well on it, like that well. And actually, exactly the point you just made here with Millennium, the lack of engage onto you guys, how hard it was for him to catch you. The Carfus pick from Kerb was very weird for me in this comp, especially because you guys could just kite him around pretty much for days. What do you think about the Carfus pick? I, I felt really confident with it. Like it, it was perfect because it, it offers you uh, a free lane, kinda. No, yeah. it's what this is champion. The, he, he's really good if he gets to he has a good setup. The enemy laner doesn't outscale you, kind of. Not the enemy, you outscale him, but if they can catch you, they outscale you. And it opened it like perfectly. More having a Nunu, more having a Tress, and now the Nidal is like, how, what are they going to do? What's Karthus going to do? He, I go for a creep, he kill me, I heal myself, I keep farming, and I hit him, and he cannot do anything. And level six, he even, I have more pressure than him, because if he makes a mistake, I can go Cougar form and harass. So I, I think Cartus pick was the worst. I was more scared of other picks, and I was really happy when I saw their setup. I really thought on picks we had the game. Well, you mentioned that you had all fronts covered and you really didn't want to get outscaled. Yet, at the end, it was sometimes very, very close. Can you tell me what went through the team at that moment? Because it could turn. It was very close at the end with the cart assaults coming in. In the end, there were a couple of fights that I think were more like brain damages and stuff. <laughs> I don't know. In one of the fights, we split. The dragon fight, for example, we split too much, and we again forgot what our setup is. No, our setup is about poking. Five v five is straight. If we go like Morons into Cartus and auto attack him, he, we're gonna lose. So <laughs> we have to keep the distance, hit one spear, which is not enough because I hit Morgana, and it kind of baited us. Okay, one is half HP. Let's do Drake. But Morgana still doesn't care. She can stay behind, seal someone, Q ultimate. But so we should, we should have waited until I hit one, two more spears. Uh, hopefully one on Cartus and on Lucia. And if we hit on one of those, one Spear to half HP, then we can force it because they, they are so low that it, if they try to go in, the moment they try, we can flash one, one skill and they are dead. And that's what we should wait for. And that's the only fight I believe we did like really bad, even though it was a one for one and we got Drake, I believe it was really bad. The rest of the fight, so maybe bad stuff happened, but I think we won them all anyways. So, okay, you said to yourself there were a few issues this game here. Looking back at Super Week, of course, you guys went two for two. What were your take on Super Week and what issues do you really feel you guys have as a team now that you need to sort? I, I think the, our problem was sometimes not, not rating like the, ga the game the way it is. The, game, the, ga the way the game is right now mm -hmm. is really about picks. There are tiers, no? There are some champions that if you put them together with other champions are completely tier heaven. So we have to take them in mind. Like, if they, if they are going to get this champion, we, we, you can give away an OP champion like Jax, for example. But you have to know, you have to take something that is good with him and something that counters him. So you have 
So you, he's not so strong, and then you have that strength. Even though Yaxi is going to be good, at least he's not going to outscale you because you have really good picks versus it. And I think right now you just really have to, to have in mind before the game what champions do you prioritize for a first pick, what champions are you willing to give in, for them to first pick in a chain of two more. And after that, if you, because if you have a, a good setup, even if you're behind, you can win. Well, one mistake, one, one guy taking something out of his nose, get caught, you win the game. So <laughs> it's perfect right now, uh, if you get a good setup. All right, well, congratulations. Great win for you guys, and thank you for the informed explanation as well. We're going to step off the rift for just a moment, and when we return, the Copenhagen Wolves will face Rocket. See you back here in three and a half.